Hello, I'm Susan Baida, co-founder of eCareDiary.com, and we're here at the Family Caregiving Summit, sponsored by Emblem Health, and uh, being held here at the New York Academy of Medicine in New York City. Uh, I have the honor and uh, privilege of meeting uh, incredible participants of the event and uh, some fascinating authors, and uh, I'm very pleased to introduce to everyone Connie Goldman, who is an award-winning radio producer, reporter, and author of books including Secret Secrets of Becoming a Late Bloomer uh, and The Gifts of Caregiving, as well as her latest book, who is, uh, which is named who am I now, now that I'm not who I was? And she's a former NPR journalist. It's a pleasure to meet you, Connie. I'm very happy to be here with you. Thank well, you. thank you. Uh, so, Connie, please tell us, uh, you, you have been uh, passionately engaged on issues related to aging for almost 35 years, and yet your background is not in gerontology or aging. Tell us about that. No. Well... I discovered many years ago when I was at NPR as the host of one of the news programs and an arts reporter, I saw the projection on the demographics. I saw that we, in 12, 15 years, would be in the graying of America. But you know, our culture didn't, doesn't really get into it at that time. It didn't. And I went to my boss and I said, we should have an aging reporter, and he didn't think that was such a hot idea. Um, and so uh, he came back to me with the idea that maybe I should set up as an independent radio producer and go and get my own funding and do programs on aging because they'd be very happy to give them to the network to run. And I thought, well, I have an audience out there. And because I had been the arts reporter, I had, um, I could get to very big names, and I knew how big names attract. So I began by doing movie stars, writers. Everybody said yes to me because I was an NPR name. And I would talk to them about the changes that they went through in their life as uh, they lost their mobility, their eyesight. I talked to painters who were painting without being able to really see what they were painting, but they weren't going to give it up. And I learned about aging, and I learned if I talked to her. You know, I used to, when I was a child, and and that was 83 years ago, (laughs) I I thought that when you reach middle age, if you figured it out, then you had the answer. Well, there isn't one answer. There's, there's a change almost every day for some of us. And so life is transitions. It's changes. It's evolving. It's learning. And it's deepening, if, you're, if you work at it, <clears throat> it's deepening the person inside of you. Because in our culture, we spend a lot of energy and time growing the outer person and sometimes the inner person is hard to find because we we have not developed the skill of finding the I suppose I could say a, a meaningful part of us um, spirit some people use spiritual some people say I was looking at all the things I thought were the big things now I remember sitting in, I talked to one woman that told me she sat in her garden all morning long. She packed her lunch and sat there in a chair and watched a flower open. Oh, how now some people would say, oh, how stupid, you're wasting all that time. No. <laughs> you understand. Yeah. And sometimes, very often, when we're older and slowed up, we see things that we didn't notice before. One woman I interviewed said, you know, I love my breakfast, 
my coffee and my grapefruit. It tastes so good, I never noticed because I was always eating fast so I could get to work. <laughs> and, you know, the, the sad part is that that's a, how a lot of us live our lives, unfortunately. We don't savor the moment. Listen, I spend every day of my life unlearning that pattern. Don't you think I was one of those, too? I think we, we all are. We yeah. need to unlearn that as we... Yes, as we, and uh, it's work to yeah. unlearn it. It's yeah. not easy. It really isn't because, you see, we've become who we made ourselves into. A multitasking, you know, productive in some area, whatever. Yeah. And now we have to come to different points in our life where we evaluate what's meaningful. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And I want to thank you so much for being with us today and sharing with us uh, your thoughts and your um, your works. We're very excited to... Uh, to meet you and my caregiver book so the caregiver book is the gifts of caregiving and uh, your other book uh, your latest book is who am I now that I'm not who I was right and maybe I'll even get around to writing another one you never know well I'll look forward to reading it (laughs) thank you thank you audience